status bar. Just below the command line, we have the status bar. It has a set of drafting and display tools that provide ease of use and precision drafting. These settings and tools are discussed in more details in the basic AutoCAD course. Nonetheless, let's discuss one of them, the workspace switching. As previously mentioned, Civil 3D is built on top of Map 3D, the Autodesk's GIS, Geographic Information System, which in turn is built on AutoCAD. So, as it turns out, if you have Civil 3D, you can just switch between multiple working environments, like basic AutoCAD 2D drafting, 3D modeling, Map 3D GIS analysis, or Civil 3D design mode. Simply click on the Workspace Switching icon and pick the appropriate work environment. You can also make changes to your workspace by clicking on Customize, then on Save Current As to rename the workspace. Another option you should be aware of, as mentioned in the Quick Access Toolbar section, is saving the changes that you are making to the interface. To have Civil 3D memorize these changes, click on Workspace Settings. From there, Select the option to automatically save workspace changes. This action should not be performed if you are not currently working on your usual and personal workstation. Finally, note that all status bar display options are available from the button in the right bottom corner. To recap, in this lesson we have learned, among other things about, the welcome screen on the Start tab, the application menu for file management, the interactive and contextual ribbon, the drawing display area, the command line that we can use to communicate with Civil 3D, and the drafting options taskbar. That concludes the tour of the interface. Next, we will learn about Civil 3D's styles and templates. They will allow us to standardize our drawings and present them as required. Thanks for watching Infratech Civil to the Point Training.